So when one of the best players on the free agent market signs for one of the biggest contracts in history, and he happens to sign with one of the best teams in the league, well, we gotta talk about that. How's it going guys? So today I'm going to be talking about the huge deal that Garrett Cole just got from the New York Yankees and just going to be giving my take on it and giving a little bit of analysis on it. So before I forget, don't forget, go down and subscribe. I post videos every single day talking about the newest sports topics and giving my opinion on it and then also asking for your opinion as well. And I also post every single day on my Instagram and also my Twitter. So go over and follow both of those. I'd really appreciate it. And so let's start talking about the nine year, $324 million contract that Garrett Cole just signed yesterday. And he's gonna be making $35 million every single game. And Steven Strasburg just signed a very similar deal with the Washington Nationals. And so now this really puts the mark for what players should be getting paid, not only from a pitcher standpoint, but from a regular MLB player standpoint. Because most of the time, when Mike Trout got his $35 million deal, a lot of people were very surprised that he got more than $30, $30 million because that mark was just set about a year ago. And now with pitchers, a lot of people were saying, well, they play every five days. You know, they don't deserve to be getting paid $35 million if they're not going to be playing every day just because they don't put as much work and they don't really affect each game and that sort of stuff. But now we're seeing how important pitching is to being able to not only get to the playoffs, but win a World Series. And that's what the Astros were able to do with Garrett Cole last year. And that's why when the free agent market opened, he was considered one of the best free agent pitchers in the, in the MLB that was available. And so with a team like the New York Yankees that have been so good for the last three years and have such a dominant offense that are known as the Bronx Bombers. Pitching has been the glaring need that Brian Cashman has been needing has been needing to fix the last three years. And you've been seeing it not only from what analysts have been saying, but mostly on Twitter from what fans have been saying. Like, come on, Brian, actually pull the trigger, actually make a trade, do something. Because we've seen so many rumors of Madison Bumgarner going to the Yankees, Garrett Cole during the trade deadline maybe going to the Yankees, Justin Verlander going to the Yankees three years ago. And it was it was always we always just hear all these rumors just because that the Yankees they have all this money you know they can really do anything that they want to with it but now they finally got their pitcher their savior and in my opinion this really puts them over the hump this guy is going to be the one that in my opinion could get them from that ALCS team to that World Series team because we've seen in the last two years they've been able to make it to the ALCS but that pitching just hasn't been there. So it hasn't been able to get them over that hump and really to be able to beat those sort of tough teams in the playoffs. And so we saw last year, the Yankees were ranked 14th with a 4.31 ERA as their average for their team pitching. And Garrett Cole was able to pitch with a 20 and five record last year and pitched with a 2.50 ERA. That's crazy. That's unreal. And he was second in ERA. And especially with such a tough AL, like American League, it's 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 tough to be able to get those outs and be able to make to be able to get those wins like Garrett Cole was able to get all last year. So next year we're gonna see a starting rotation with Garrett Cole, James Paxton, Masahiro Tanaka, uh, Domingo Herman and Luis Severino, but Domingo Herman will be suspended for a majority of the year because of his domestic violation, and the Yankees are also looking to try and trade J.A. Happ, so it'll be interesting who will be their fifth starter, Jordan Ma Montgomery maybe, um, but it'll just be interesting how their pitching situation does pan out, but in my opinion, this was all really just set in stone by the by about a week ago just because the yankees had their meeting meeting with garrett cole it was said to have gone really well and just from looking at what has happened in garrett cole's career of getting drafted by them coming coming out of high school and then also them being his favorite team growing up it just all made sense so go down, comment below, what did you guys think about the signing? I thought it was pretty crazy, especially after not a lot of signings from the last two free agency markets. I'm just really excited about what to see is going to happen 
over these next few months in the MLB offseason. So I'm going to be talking about all that stuff here on this channel. So like I said before, don't forget, go down and subscribe. And like I said before, I post every single day on my Instagram and also my Twitter. So thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate all the support. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye. Hold up. Wait until the whole team show up. Yeah. I'm in